I keep my crazy bones in my dick pocket. There we <laughs> Welcome go. Welcome back to God of War 2. This part is a nightmare in uh, the <laughs> uh. ultra hard in the ultra hard difficulty because uh, fuck these hands do just attack you immediately are spawn endlessly take two hits to kill and they just gang up on also, you. Also, this is a literal nightmare. Yeah, I actually believe it's hell. So, from Hades. Uh, I think you'll find Hades doesn't work that way, ape. You see. <laughs> well, this is much easier than the last time. Oh, hey, so hell was just, like, right there the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Like, that's... Anytime you dig a hole, you just keep on falling into hell. It's really annoying. Real subtle on that cut there. <laughs> so, everybody's dead, except this guy. Right here. Hey, trooper. Oh, How's it going? hey, it's you, the guy from the big pool of water. I never not be killed. I never lost faith. Actually, I may have made a deal with, like, not the actual devil, but, you know, metaphorical devil. I don't, I'm not really sure. I seem to make deals when I'm at death's door a lot. Yeah, it all blurs together. Oh, there's my ride. Oh, yeah, I still have this. God, I hope I'm still immune to fire. This is going to be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's go on the Pegasus. You know, the legendary oh Pegasus. Oh god, I'm not! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> legendary Pegasus that's totally always on fire. I like to think it's light, but not and not fire, but who knows? It's probably actually fire, because... Who can tell with these particle effects? Kratos totally set this on fire for shits and giggles. <laughs> I must face Zeus! Yeah, that's a great idea right now. You are no longer a god. You're not even really a man anymore. You're just kind of like a pup. You're basically like a little doll full of hate and cotton. And that's Vestos, apparently. <laughs> Good. Time travel. Yep, time travel in God of War. This will... Uh, Alright, so hey, uh... Do you think, like, the running thing, do you think I should do this, or does it look stupid? Do you think I should just... Well, I, I never had anyone on my back before, right? Alright, so flying combat, you can string together light and heavy combos as usual. You can dash to the side by pushing L1 and R1, and also, uh, with our magic meter, we can dash forward if an enemy gets too far away from us. And then, you can also do QTE kills as usual. And I love this one. He was already going to fall. Why did you need to throw him? So he falls faster. Duh. <laughs> going for a distance record. It, this is another thing the game magazines were very excited about, I seem to remember. Like the griffin falls and kills a family of three. <laughs> like, like the, the magazines were very excited for these flying segments. Um, I think that it only happens twice yeah. in the game. <laughs> Both of them relatively close to the beginning. I wish I kept those terrible old PS2 magazines. I wonder worst. if there's like a dude who just follows Kratos around and collects the wings he tears off enemies. <laughs> He's, he sells them to Greek Beef O'Brady's. Let's go say <laughs> grind for mom. No, he sells them to Beetle the Bard for, for like 30 rupees a piece. It's great. No, grind for mom to make a dick powder. That's what every animal gets made into eventually. Thanks, China. <laughs> Dick powder. China. Wow, that was weird. Stop that. I kind of do like the flying segments, and they are pretty fun, but uh, on the other hand, I'm glad they only happen twice and that they're relatively short because I feel like if they happened anymore, they would really wear out their welcome really fast. So is that horrible jump supposed to happen, or what the hell is going on with I that? I think it is, yes. I wasn't even involved in this! God damn it, I'm just going <laughs> home! <laughs> that enemy's piss easy, because all you do is ram into him and then break his stupid neck. I was gonna visit my mother. Because he's a bird and his bones are hollow, so it's She's really She's in the hospital. She has bird cancer. So this part, uh, you have... 
you can't really fight this guy and the the idea here is that he shoots off three fireballs and you're uh, supposed to go to the direction that there's not a fireball so that way you don't get hurt <laughs> until he throws out five at once like what? a big fat cheater what wonderful advice to avoid fireballs fly <laughs> in the direction where there isn't a fireball to <laughs> shoot the cypher demon until he dies Kratos knows where he is, is is because he knows where the fireball isn't. <laughs> and now you have to link that video again. It's a great video. <laughs> but first, let's talk about parallel dimensions. We're suddenly flying very slowly. No, it's fine. I've mapped out all the timelines of this game. Ooh, oh, man, what is it? Like 6 a.m. on a Saturday? What the hell, dude? It only loops back on itself like seven times. It's fine. <laughs> it's a joke about Primer. <laughs> Fuck. I'm I, I'm the Keeper of the Flame. Welcome to the Flame Palace. That's the, that's the giant titan sealed for all eternity for his crimes against Olympus. My name is Ted, I'll be your guide. Good work, Kratos. Oh. Uh, you know, we have valet parking, right? You gotta just... You know what, whatever, it's fine. Anyway, down here, I believe, is our first... Oh, no, it's our second Gorgonai. That's right, the first one was on the Colossus of Rhodes. Uh, they work exactly the same as the last game. You collect six, you get an extra 25% health boost. Anytime you'd like to start the tour, sir, I'm right over here. Oh, 25 percentage points, not whatever. Shut up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like... it's like what what our max is right now, every time you collect six, you get uh, an If you give me a moment, I'll ask the Titan to Or you could just hit his fingers, that's also cool. You are getting blood everywhere, are you aware of that? I'm gonna have to ask you to clean that up. <laughs> so here is the... What I was trying to find, talk about last time that didn't happen. Uh, you can climb on walls. Descending is a lot easier yeah. now, you don't have to actually climb down. You can just push R1 and Kratos will do a crazy slide. Sir, I'm going to ask you not to hit the staff or I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> no, descending has always worked like bad in this series in my mind. It's blocked the awful god of War 1 climbing from my memory. Sir, we just resurfaced these walls. You are getting our employees' blood and knife marks all over them. And speaking of which, you aren't allowed to have those in here in the first place. Yeah, and so your attire is very inappropriate for this climbing gym. <laughs> uh, the customers below you would like to ask me to put some pants. If you're, if you want to use the rock wall, you have to be properly harnessed first, sir. You are breaking so many regulations. You would also put something on underneath that tunic. That would be great. <laughs> you are scaring yeah, now the you customers. You climb on ceilings. Holy shit! It's. Oh I my mean, god! It works exactly the same. Bah! <laughs> by god! Of God of Smite, but this Batman is broken in half. <laughs> I think he actually is. Yeah. I can actually legitimately use that. This means I won't ever again. <laughs> so, the mechanics of the first of the second game work pretty much exactly like the first game. You push square for light attack. You push triangle for heavy attack. You push circle to grab. You can't always grab enemies. Uh, sometimes you have to weaken them enough first. And then uh, you can string them into different combos. Most likely you're going to be used light, light, heavy because that's your basic combo that really fucks everything up. And here's a Minotaur! Minotaurs actually were changed a little bit in this game because um, in the last game... If you did that special grab kill that they have, uh, you were sacrificing red orbs for health orbs. In this game, if you do it, you get both. You get all the experience that you normally would get if you had just killed them by cutting them to death. Still a bit goofy rotating in place when you, uh, <laughs> you yep. keep killing Chris's them. Chris's yep. dream of being a dentist will never come to pass. They never really fixed that in this series, I don't Including think. Including their swords, which is weird. They're not only that still turn with them. <laughs> <sighs> and here's some major rope burn. Ow, 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 ow. Man, I have to f literally on fire a horse did not do it. I don't think that's going to hurt <laughs> But blisters, man. No, Kratos is just one giant callus at this point. 
<laughs> oh, hey. There's that guy. Thank you for visiting the Hall of Eternal Titan Torture. We hope you enjoyed your stay, and please exit through the gift shop. Thank you. Also, watch out for the white walkers, Fuck I guess. Jackass. <laughs> so, uh, not, o not only do we not have a magic bar anymore, but we also lost Poseidon's Rage, so there goes our easy win button for the entire game. <laughs> Kratos just really hates scaffolding. Have you noticed that? Yeah. I think he had a tumble when he was a, like a teenager and working at Greek construction companies. <laughs> Poor safety standards. Like, I need a harness for this. I'm gonna fall. You're not gonna fall, Kratos. It's fine. And then he fell. And there's no OSHA back then, so he didn't even get workman's comp. Workman's comp was, well, you're not dead. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you're lucky, we might drag you to the hospital. For what now? <laughs> oh, the place that just puts all the leeches on you, right. <laughs> predates leeches. <laughs> ow, 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 this sucks. Ow, ow, this really sucks. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Hey, buddy. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of dinner. God of war. <laughs> Man, this guy's up to date on his news. I no longer walk with the gods. Like, so, like, somebody came by during this time span and just said, Hey, so, hey, how's it going, Prometheus? Uh, Kratos, uh, you know that guy killed his family? Uh, he killed the old god of war, became the new god of war, uh, and then uh, was betrayed by Zeus, and now he's dead. Well, see ya. Yeah, I'm about to eat, just won't shut up. <laughs> he's like, okay, so... Uh, I had the worst day at Eagle School, and, uh... Yeah, yeah I shipped Prometheus and the Eagle, just like my anime picture. The Prometheus is like, well, I got used to the liver being torn out centuries ago, but this fucking asshole... I don't care about your day! I mean, I have never cared about your day. <laughs> Listen, he supports Trump, I support Hillary Clinton... He never asked me how my day went. I would have killed myself. I mean, he knows he was here, but you know. Are, are you done talking? Because, you know, I, I was about half finished with your liver. Okay, I'll have to admit, for the PS2, this is a pretty impressive uh, thing going Man, on. Man, I don't right think here. that's how organs work. No, it's fine. I don't think it is either, but it's still really cool looking. It's for really nice to, to regenerate his loincloth for him, too. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That chain suddenly realized it was supposed to be there. It's like, oh <laughs> shit, alright, uh. Let's. Okay, well, uh, he's dead now, right? Oh. Uh, nope. I must burn the fires of so yeah, we have to somehow get him into the fires of Olympus. And no, the answer is not just jump up and slash the chain, because it's too tall and it's over fire. We die. <laughs> No, Meanwhile, the eagle's like, so can I go now? Is this a half day? Do I get full pay or what? I don't, I'm, I'm going to talk to the immediate, the birds eating immortals uh, union about this. Listen, either way, I still expect to get full credit for holiday uh, hours. I'm counting this as a vacation day. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, all right? <laughs> I mean, you're, you're... You'll be back, right? I mean, you kind of are immortal. This will be fine. It's fine. He's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, if I, should, if I should look for a new job, let me know now, because there are not a lot of openings for birds that eternally eat the insides of immortals. Yeah, this whole thing with Kratos B was just off taking a smoke break. You go on monsters.com, <laughs> there's not a lot of openings this, in that... <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I'm glad you appreciated that. <laughs> so yeah, these guys are shit. They're the basic enemy type in the game. 
Uh, you can just grab them and immediately kill them. They are no big deal whatsoever. And man, this game really likes fighting on walls mm -hmm. for some fucking reason. Ow. Ow. You hit me with this... You're like hitting that dude with this... in this butt with his friend's face. With his best Keep friend? Keep pounding with my, baby, my best friend's face. <laughs> <laughs> pounded in the butt by a copy of Pounded in the Butt by a co yes, <laughs> copy of Pounded in the Butt. <laughs> this so many fucking layers. Anyway, the there's this thing. It's locked, but if you go this way, it opens. How does this pulley system operate? Yeah. I don't understand. Just don't ask questions. It's a phoenix feather! We don't even have magic yet, and we're getting phoenix feathers. Much like King Crimson, it just works. <laughs> oh, I <yeah. laughs> reference. It's a big damn cave. It is a really big fucking I can't, cave. Is this supposed to be ice, or is it limestone, or... Uh, I Ice think stone. it's supposed to be limestone. Anyway, Medusas, they work They work a lot like they did in the last game. Basically, if an enemy type appears, they work a l in both games. They work a lot like they did in the last game. <laughs> I forgot except, about their torn-out midsections. That always... Yeah, yes. ex except, like, this game actually... Um, the, for, I don't know what it is about the combat in this game compared to the last game, but it actually feels a little bit better. Not too much, because God of War combat is still very, very basic, and not very deep. There's no, like, dodge canceling or whatever, <laughs> but it still... It still feels better than it did in the last game, and a lot of people will actually tell you that this is their favorite God of War game. I still like 3 better, but... This one's also really good. I still don't get what the deal is with that midsection, because they're not supposed to be undead things. Eh. Just No, they're not. Just, I guess they did it just because it looks cool, I guess? I don't know. They're, no, in addition to being snake ladies, they're also just uh, supermodels. So. This is like the newest Greek diet plan. Yeah, Tear yeah. out your midsection. Expose parts of your pelvis. I think what they were going for was like they were trying to insinuate that all of the, at least in the last game, all of the enemies were sort of undead, sort of, because I guess Ares uses undead uh, wow, servants okay, huh? for for his army. Yeah, I, the fucking rotational ones are the worst. Shut up. Um, but I don't know. In this game, it doesn't really make much sense. In the next game, they're they're not missing their torsos, so. Uh, they eventually drop we it. We don't want to play Street Maybe that's Fighter. like, maybe that's like their security deposit. Are right, like, okay, we're gonna let you work for Olympus, but we are gonna need something valuable from you as a security deposit to make sure you don't screw us over. <laughs> like, I don't have anything. I'm a snake woman. You got a torso there. It's a pretty nice torso. <laughs> Also, I do have to thank uh, whoever was in charge of monster design in this game. They got rid of the pointless nipples on the snake lady. The snips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so Prometheus out there gets his news updates, but nobody bothers to tell Titan. Here. Yeah, there's no ego picking out, packing out his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We can't see. That would have to be a really big eagle. I mean, that was already a really big eagle. Yeah. Hi, are you of ice or stone? I'd like to know. I think he's actually wind? Because look what he does. He tries to blow you off the cliffside. He's very rude. Dude, I could do that to ants. <laughs> that doesn't make me a god of wind. Well, maybe it's the ant. Oh, yeah, to the ant's point of view. So the harpies will keep spawning indefinitely for this uh, segment. But you don't want to go too soon, because if you notice, I tried going too soon and I almost fell off multiple times, <laughs> and if you stay on the ledge too long, he, you just instantly die. 
because of ledge crumbling or no you just fall off like I guess I guess the wind blows you straight off because it usually doesn't la last that short of a time I suppose it looks like some crumbly batches but no they're not, they're not really crumbly I don't know why but oh right eh, eh. there we go well, that's why they looked crumbly. Yeah. So we can set up the fucking cutscene. <laughs> I don't know. Good, we're just gonna fucking take what we need anyway. Come on, Nana, too, and uh, fuck you! Thanks for the bow, Typhon. Good to know there's... Oh, thank Christ. I've been trying to get that out of my eye forever. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's his bane. <laughs> that has been bothering me the hell. You helped him out. Ew, mushy mouth. Yeah, look at it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so Typhon's bane is your arrow, and in this segment you get unlimited magic to work with it. Um, it's the first magic spell. It's... An halo. A little better than uh, it's a little better than the thing you got from Zeus last game, in that they actually do create a couple more uh, setups where it's useful to use, but it's still probably the least useful magic spell in the yeah, game. It's still a bone arrow in a pack and slash game, so. Yep. Yeah. I like to take care of these guys first because if you don't, then they just interrupt you very rudely as you're trying to kill their friends out on the ledges with the bow and arrow. No, I'm I'm so embarrassed right now because I just now remembered that I forgot to buy the novelization. <laughs> oh no! It's not like you don't have several weeks to do this. Uh, yeah, episode three, everybody. Promise. <laughs> Anyway, if you go this way before you go on the path of progression and get rudely sniped by an archer, wow. that's a hell of a name. Yeah, that would have been a good place to use it, too, because, you know, there was fucking nothing happening. <laughs> um, this secret here, these guys will endlessly respawn until I stop fucking up and throw them into the fire. You just gotta throw a bunch of dudes into the fire, and then it'll melt the ice chests, and then they'll stop spawning infinitely. These dudes are apparently made out of dry timber. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He missed. Listen, corpses... Corpses... Corpses burn real easy, don't you know? Depends how fat you are. <laughs> I bet... Morgs are burning down now because corpses are too fat. <laughs> Start a huge grease fire. <laughs> Just gotta get some final kill count in here. There we go. So your reward is a bunch of experience, which actually matters now. There's no point in the game where it takes that away from you again. And a phoenix feather. And let's upgrade the swords. I'd like to imagine that there's just like one phoenix feather gently placed at the bottom of that chest. Oh, one phoenix feather and a whole ton of packing peanuts. <laughs> 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 yes, but they're the kind that are made out of like cornstarch and syrup, <laughs> so they, they biodegrade. So, you know, they're environmentally conscious, these groups. <laughs> I am reasonably certain that those packing peanuts, that they just roll them in cheese dust and market them as Cheetos. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to be heading back. Or it's a little bit of backtracking with no actual fights in it. So, he finally <laughs> got off, me, after weeks of me bugging him, a lecture on Prometheus, which we're going to listen to right about now. Can't prove anything. Prometheus is a 2012 sci-fi film directed by Ridley Scott. It is the fifth film in the Aliens franchise and serves as a prequel to the 1979 film Alien. 
The plot centers on the crew of a spaceship Prometheus as it follows a star- <laughs> Kalon, what are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing? Y- yeah, I'm doing my info segment, Kalon. Why are you interrupting me? You're supposed me? to be doing Prometheus. It, yeah, Prometheus, just like you said, but who I'm, what I'm talking about. Wrong, Prometheus. Wait, you mean- what? Oh, crap. Um, but give me just one second. Uh, okay, okay, here we go. Prometheus, meaning forethought, was a titan son of Iopetus and Clemen. This is generally the couple that you see, although a couple of sources will name uh, different titan couples, but that's not really important. Now, Prometheus was the brother of Epimetheus, which means afterthought, Atlas, and Menetius. In the war between the gods and the titans, Prometheus just kind of avoided that whole mess. In some versions of this myth, uh, he was key in Zeus's victory, but either way, he was not sent to Tartarus like most of his uh, titan brethren. Now, when man was created, the brothers Prometheus and Epimetheus were responsible for distributing the traits amongst men and animals. Uh, More specifically, Epimetheus was uh, responsible for handing out all these traits, and Prometheus was supposed to supervise. Now, Epimetheus, true to his name, kind of fucked this all up. He gave all the traits out uh, to other animals, so there was nothing left for mortal men. So Prometheus, being a nice guy, gave men fire, and he also gave them knowledge of other parts of civilization. I believe the exact wording of this is Arts of Hephaestus and Athena. Right there, that probably sounds familiar to you, but that's probably about all of the common version mentions. But when you go back into actual myth, that was not what Prometheus did to anchor Zeus. Zeus was still cool with this. What angered Zeus was, there was this big meeting where the gods and mortals were together uh, deciding which part of the animal should be sacrificed. Now Prometheus, he still wanted to look out for the mortals, so he took like all the nice parts of the meat, like all the actual edible meat, nice bits, he put it inside of a ox's stomach. And then he took the bones and wrapped them in glistening fat. So the idea of this is, you take something that is a unpleasant exterior but has a nice contents, contrasted with something that has a pleasant exterior with unpleasant contents. Apparently, back in the day, just eating straight fat was super desirable, so Zeus picked the bundle of fat and bones, and this became the standard sacrifice for gods. They would burn bones on the altars. This really pissed Zeus off. He took the fire back from the mortals as punishment. As additional punishment, He also created Pandora, the first woman, and married him off to Epimetheus. And that's a whole other subject, but we all know how that ended. Anyway, Prometheus, he's still looking out for his mortals. He stole back fire from Zeus, hiding it in a stalk of fennel. And this was the final straw for Prometheus. He was captured by Zeus. Interestingly, uh, one verse of the myth, it specified that a familiar face, Kratos, and his compatriot Bai were responsible for this. But in any case, Zeus had Prometheus chained to a rock, and an eagle pecked out his liver. Being a mortal, Prometheus' liver would regenerate during the night, and each day the eagle would come down and uh, peck his liver out. Which, that's really pleasant. Eventually, Prometheus was freed by Hercules, and to be clear if you're not familiar with this, this wasn't one of uh, Hercules' twelve labors, this was just some other bullshit Hercules got up to because what are you going to do when you're Hercules other than fuck around with Zeus's punishment on other people? Thanks, Heave. That was a terrible joke at the beginning that I unfortunately had to yeah. take part of. Hey, you encouraged me to do it, asshat. <laughs> 
Thanks. Kalon makes good decisions. Anyway, uh, right over this way. We couldn't get that before because we couldn't break the the, uh, the cage. So, uh, I have a question. If you, for some reason, decided to fire all of your arrows and run out of magic before you got to this section, would you pretty much just be screwed? Or Oh, no, there's a save point right there. Okay. There's some magic chests around here, but, um, yeah, if, if you wasted your magic, you would be pretty much screwed. Uh, doesn't the save point regenerate your health and magic, or no? I don't think so, no. Hmm. Oh, no, there's a magic chest right by uh, Prometheus. Ah, so there is. So, yep. So, you probably can't completely hose yourself. Hopefully you can. I don't know. I don't know. I've never, tr- I've never tried to get a non-standard game over in this game like that, so... Uh, it's PS2 way, though, there's two ways you can fuck yourself. It's like a little screen pops up. Good work, dumbass! <laughs> did you have fun shooting your bow? I hope you did. It's like if you managed to uh, fucking destroy your car in Half-Life 2. You destroyed your car. Good work, dumbass. Game over. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go give Prometheus the sweet, sweet release of death. Yep. Eat a dick, Hercules. Yeah. He's... No... He's... Oh, okay, Hercules. I was about to say, he's literally asking for it. This isn't a dickish move if he's asking for it. No. Well, it's kind of dickish. Yeah, Hercules is gonna come go rescue him. Like, Hercules is running here right the fuck now. But no, we fucked it up, Kratos. Yeah, I actually think they bring that up in the oh, third good. game. <laughs> this is pleasant. You could probably have done a better job of this. Oh man, his beard is super resilient. Look at that. You have freed Prometheus from the torment of the gods. Good job! Well, that's not snow, that's ash. Ew. And embodied it with the power sure. Why not? I mean, it's not going to show up anymore, so, like, he's already covered in his dead family. Like, you leave and he just regenerates. Kratos just really needs to take a goddamn bath. 